This is the state of our scholars and theologians or theologians. This is what you'll find in your seminaries and your colleges, universities that teach the Bible or Christianity. This is from Paul Williams. He is in, you, he interviewed, he had interviewed, he he's interviewing Professor Keith Ward, who's supposedly a renowned professor in the UK, a Christian theologian, theologian, a Christian theologian, theologian. Now he made a 32 second snippet of their interview. He's going to ask him a question. Let me tell you what the title is. Guys, this is the current state of Christian professors. These are the people teaching your children Christian theology. Here's the link. I want you to listen. The title is, in 32 seconds, distinguished Oxford theologian, theologian, Muhammad, true prophet of God. Pay attention now. Okay. You ready? Let me know if you're ready for me to play it. You ready? Give me one if you're ready. Okay, listen to this. What do you as a, a Christian theologian make of the prophethood of Muhammad? Um, do you have any thoughts about that? I know oh, yes, that's good thoughts about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do think uh, that Muhammad was a genuine prophet of God and that he was raised up by God and that the Quran is uh, in some way an expression of uh, God's uh, revelation. So I do uh, think that. Um, yeah. What do you? And in that interview, in that interview, Keith Ward said it's an in interview on his channel that the Christian theologians that he knows, his colleagues, he said this, his Christian colleagues, theologians, all agree with him. Muhammad is a prophet, so it's not just him. He's on record saying the theologians that are his colleagues that are teaching in these seminaries, universities, colleges, they agree with him as Christians. Muhammad is a prophet. Let me play it again. Listen to it again. It's only 32 seconds. What do you as a, a Christian theologian make of the prophethood of Muhammad? Um, do you have any thoughts about that? I know oh, yes. Just, that's good thoughts about that. <laughs> uh, I do think. Uh, that Muhammad was a genuine prophet of God and that he was raised up by God and that the Quran is uh, in some way an expression of uh, God's uh, revelation. So I do uh, think that. Um, okay, now, this is why you need to be thanking the Lord Jesus honestly. Listen to me. Thank the Lord Jesus and beg the Lord Jesus for this open door of blessing. Because Jesus says in Revelation 3, 7 to 8, he opens doors that no power can shut. And when he shuts the door, no power can open it because he's almighty. Thank the Lord Jesus for the open door of the internet and for YouTube and for websites where all you do is you pay for internet. And God, in his love and mercy for the church, has put in the hearts of people to provide free of charge for you, out of the love for Jesus, resources, articles, books, PDF files, and YouTube channels to thoroughly educate you in the truth of the Christian faith so that you can be assured Jesus is Lord, the Bible is his word, he is alive, and all other ideologies that contradict his word, they are from the devil. But the Lord may not keep this door open for much longer. Nothing can happen unless the Lord wills it. And when the Lord sees a nation opposing him, defying him, and when he sees this church dropping the ball, sleeping with the world, committing spiritual adultery to get the approval and gain the love of the world, then the Lord Jesus hands us over to judgment. We'll then raise up leaders, whether politically or legally or religiously, after our hearts. So if we're corrupt and filthy and perverted and hate him and his truth, then he's going to give us teachers after our hearts to tickle our ears. That's a sign of God's judgment. Okay? So let me again tell you, save your children and save yourselves hefty fees. Do not send them to seminary 
Do not send them to Bible college. You don't need to be educated there. If you're going to go to university, go there to get a degree in some secular field. Become a doctor or a lawyer or a policeman or an IT. Whatever you do, do not go there to study theology because you'll go in alive. You'll come out dead. That's why it's called cemetery. Go and get you a degree in a professional field. So as a Christian filled Holy Spirit, you can take over all these fields, take over socially, politically, economically, militarily, every sphere of life for Jesus so that you'll be the light of Jesus in all these fields, preaching to unbelievers, bringing them to the feet of Jesus. But don't go there. Don't go there to get a Christian education. 